With President Biden's first use of clemency, which included the names of 78 people. Three felons got pardons, 75 received commuted sentences, and there are Houstonians on that list. And tonight, our Sion Rhodes is talking with one of them only on two tonight. Sion? Well, one of the names is Quan Nguyen, and he was sentenced here at the federal courthouse back in 2017. Tonight, he is one of those 75 whose sentences was commuted by the president, something he didn't even know until we told him today. I just went over there today. Nobody said it. Quang Nguyen had no idea his name was on the White House's list of 75 people whose sentences were commuted by President Joe Biden. I'm scrolling down to get to your name. This is you? Uh, yeah. In a statement, the president said the 75 were serving long sentences for nonviolent drug crimes and would have received a lower sentence if they were charged with the same offense today. <laughs> Wonderful. Very nice. In August 2016, Nguyen was convicted of conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute 1,000 or more marijuana plants. I got no comment for that. In March 2017, he was sentenced to 120 months in federal prison. When I heard that, they gave me 10 years, man. That was <laughs> terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I can make it or not. Since 2020, Kwong had been serving his time on home confinement after being granted release and a reduced sentence due to health issues in the COVID pandemic. I thank God for that. <laughs> With Tuesday's commutation by President Biden, Wynn's reduced sentence that was set to expire in October 2023 was shortened by six months and will now expire next April. It's a whole lot better. <laughs> Get out early. I just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, um, Joe Biden. Give me a better opportunity. Thank you for that. And once Kwong's sentence ends next year, he will still have to serve under supervised release for five years. That's part of his original sentence. Live downtown, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News.